is Thursday night. We spent the day at Trailway doing some work. They are continuing to work on the place next to us, which has been super annoying and it is very hard to work here. Andrew's making dinner. He has D&D tonight. I was supposed to have D&D tonight with a friend, but I just have so much work to do that I canceled and I'm doing work. So I'm currently editing a video. I have another video tonight. I have a podcast to do. I have two more videos to go along with that podcast to do. I have show notes for that podcast. What else do I have? I'm doing some graphic works. I am, gosh, drowning. I'm drowning. It is load-in weekend this week for our show. We did some construction yesterday. I forgot to take any video of it, but then we ran a full run of the show on the set, which is pretty exciting. We're picking up that set on Sunday and bringing it over to the theater and setting it up. And hopefully we'll be able to get a run in on Sunday night as well, which is not usually a thing that you get to do um, during production week because it's usually really busy with builds and stuff. Stay tuned for something more interesting than us making food and working. Just ran a little quick errand downtown and look what we came home to. That's our house behind a truck, so we have to walk to it. Can I just say, if you are in construction and you are building somewhere in which there are other residents on the same road, can you just like make it a part of your business practice to let them know when they're gonna be inconvenienced with like not having access to their driveway or not being able to leave or come back? Like, why don't they do that? Can I call someone about this? Do you want to come help? Yeah. <laughs> it is our friend Wade's birthday today, and we are having him and his girlfriend over to play some games, and we thought, why not break out the axe set from Costco? We're going to put it together. I wasn't anticipating that it was going to take this much. I'm trying to find a locking mechanism. I might as well build everything else and then figure out if I'm missing something. Usually it's good if at least one person has confidence in their oh, ability. To, to do this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm I mean, really good at putting it together. I can I put mean, it together, no problem. Some of the smallest bars that are bigger than the last one you can use. I will say I threw them pretty hard and with a lot of like spin and they still stuck, but I, maybe I got lucky. All right, one second. So one of the key things of axe throwing is the, the world is not your target. The target is your target. Let's try that again, Caleb. Okay, yeah, I am good. You. <laughs> But a single, a single thread she caught. Okay. Last one. That's the saddest. Nope, it fell. No good. So it turns out there is some skill involved. I'm not just lucky. I'm actually good. Yep, that's it, Kale. But now do it at a distance of 10 to 15 feet. Do, try. Can I ask you? Can I ask? Okay. Cool. Can I ask you one favor? Yeah. Just, just flick it. Just flick it with the wrist. Flick it with the wrist. <laughs> flick it at the target. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on that point, we're gonna sign off and go somewhere where there's less breakable stuff. <laughs> it is a load-in day for our show. Andrew has to pick up the U-Haul at 11, and then he's coming back to the studio to pick up all of the risers and the legs and some of the other stuff that we're using for the show. And then we're meeting everyone at the school at FHS where our production is going on. And we will meet with them there. 
and put the set together and then take a little break for the afternoon and then go back for a full run on the set, which is really exciting. I want to go in a little bit early because I want to add a couple more legs on because some of the areas are just feeling a little less stable. I want to make sure that everyone feels safe and whatnot on the set. It won't be as interesting as when we did the load in for the play that goes wrong, but it's going to be nice and fast and that's what we love. Day speed bumps used to be children. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you hit one, you know you gotta slow down. That's about it. See school right there. Makes sense. We are sitting at the studio waiting for some of the finish their voice lessons because we can't go in while they're teaching, obviously. Everyone is called to the studio for 12. Kill what's up. our load in this morning and then we went and did a bit of food and drinks with some folks from the cast as well as some other friends from the area and now we are headed back to the theater because we are going to re-block a bunch of the group numbers because we have a lot less space on stage than we thought we did. Had a great time meeting some of the cast members who we haven't met before. Not haven't met but like haven't gotten to know before so it's really nice to sit and chat and figure out who does what and it is Queen Victoria Day. It is Monday. We are uh, off of work today, so we decided to head downtown. Kayla is sporting new shorts that she made herself. Yes, lovely. And uh, we're enjoying this beautiful weather. So we are now at stop number two. We just stopped by Gahan Riverside. After this, we'll head home for dinner and get everything ready for our Monday night rehearsal. First time pouring beer? Apparently. You didn't tilt the glass enough. We spent the day downtown, having a couple drinks on a couple of different patios, and now we're back home. On Friday, we set up the axe throwing, and you saw how horrible I was at it. Uh, and we didn't end up playing it with Wade and Krista, so I said, Andrew, let's go put it downstairs. So we are in our backyard now with the new build right beside us. Anyways, we've set up the axe throwing and uh, we're gonna see if I can improve. That's what we're gonna do for the rest of the afternoon. Then we're gonna grab some food and then we're gonna go to So, cool. The wind is proving to be a challenge, so we have moved it. And uh, let's see if Andrew does better now. Go out and play. One out of four. Andrew won several times. I got better at it though. You did. You did I, I think there was a whole round. I don't think I ever got four. No, you did. Did you I did. get four? Yep. Yeah, you made I me take a better. video of it. I got, oh, yeah, I did. Okay, so you'll see it here. I spent hitting four on the board. Well, <laughs> and as you can see... It's technically three are on the board, and one is on itself. Yeah. I got better, but uh, fun game. We so have to cool. head to rehearsal in about an hour an and a half. Hour. An so. hour, so that we can get there in time. Yeah. But I didn't get ready because we have to be ready for 6.30. That's true. Yeah. Uh, we need to be in costume and whatnot. We got to find so, some so we gotta costume go. pieces. We gotta so. Andrew's eating pesto, 
I have some leftovers from when we went to the cider place last night and went to PJ's Wings and Things. I don't even know if I showed that, but if I did, that's my leftovers today. So I'm gonna eat that and we're gonna go hang out on the deck for a bit. So I am currently in all day meetings, but it's show week and we have no desserts in the house and I can't live like that. So I'm in the middle of making muffins while I'm taking my calls. Am I making a mess? Yes. Did I mess them up? Probably. But we're going ahead with them and uh, Either way, I'm eating batter if need be. Hmm. They're a little thicker than expected. But, thick muffins are still muffins, and we love them just the same. We just got home from a rehearsal. I am doing a radio play and drinking the rest of my coffee, which I didn't finish this morning. I tried to sit down on the couch and Andrew said no. Uh, I just wanted to go over, so look at this tank top tan that's going on here. When did you get that? Uh, I don't know, the other day when we went outside. As you can see by the dishes scattered out, I've done some cleaning, but the majority of what I did was upstairs. Mm. So what I, as Kayla knows, some days we tend to have uh, Jarvis, our Roomba go through the different bedrooms and rooms upstairs. Uh, kind of a little monthly cleaning. And then I got into our wedding stuff. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So as we are leaving next year, this room is going to be given to uh, one of our friends who's going to be living here. At least that's the plan. And there's a, there was a number of things that were in the closet. So part of the plan is we're gonna end up moving some of this stuff either in the basement or to our room, but what do we keep, what do we sell, what do we toss? There's one bin that I've kept. And in that bin is our picture frames. I also found one of our ring bearer boxes. Not sure if we lost mm. the second one or what. I put it in that box. That's kind of our keep, up, keep it wedding stuff. I started to toss garbage bag. So of the stuff that's here and on the bed and on this, we need to figure out what we're selling, what we're throwing, what we're keeping. And you want to do that now? Yeah, just real quick. I thought it was going to be a nice relaxing day. No, it's a Friday. It's a working day. We're just working by ourselves. Our shitty masks that we had made from Vista <laughs> Prince. They're, they're so bad. They're so bad and so small. What do you want to do? Awesome. Yes. Hey, okay. what is this? Ring size adjusters. Ah, that's for this one. Uh, bride tribe wire cutters. We have wire strippers. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll put the soldering iron and the into the into the into tools, the including yeah. the wire strippers. The lights I will leave up here though. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Toss or donate. Okay. Ponytail. <laughs> I wanted my hair to look bigger, so I bought a giant oversized scrunchie for my hair. And then I was like, it looks too big for my hair. I was like, what if I bought a hair extension plug to put in with it? Uh, in the end, I did not wear it, thank God. <laughs> it doesn't match. Like, you would have been a really no, bad your hair. This thing. Uh, so. uh chalk. Yeah. Keep it. Uh, or so. Wood stuff. Uh, these little sand things? Some. Cake cutter and server? Did we even use those? Yeah, we did. Okay, oh, so. This random twine? Yeah, keep it. Close fence? Keep them. Four? Yeah. Yeah. Several pounds of rocks? So. Um, all of these light packs? Uh, LED candles? It is night two of the show must go on and I figured I would try and find Andrew and see what he's up to before the show kicks off tonight. I lied. 
We're having a cast meeting. I'll find an answer after. It is Saturday morning, and for some reason we are up and in the car at 9 a.m. Our realtor um, in Fredericton has been great to us over the years, and they usually do client events or giveaways or whatever every year. And this year they got a screening at the theaters for the new um, Little Mermaid film fans of Disney. We wanted to go see it. So we were like, you know what? Why not? It's Saturday morning. We have show tonight, so we got time. So I asked for two tickets. So they're free. So whatever. But of course, it is 9 a.m. on a Saturday that it will be happening. It's definitely a kids event. Yeah, so I didn't realize... More like a family I, event. I didn't realize until we booked it, but then they had sent out like the full schedule, and they're like 9 o'clock. And I, At first, I thought 9 o'clock was like the event, but they're like 9 o'clock family fun <laughs> no, and they're like 10 o'clock so excited screening. for that family fun i'm hoping for good face painting maybe or i'm actors like, whatever the face painting is i hope you keep it all day for the show for the show yeah. uh should i go flounder <laughs> just yeah. all yellow <laughs> Similar to the other one, but some obvious changes. But, yeah. yeah, I thought it was really great. Um, and then stopped off at Sephora because I ran out of night cream last night. And now we are off to the liquor store. We're gonna pick up a couple more beers for tonight, just in case. And then we're gonna head home. Do you need a nap? Yeah. So maybe take a nap. And then um, in a couple hours, we have to pick up the U-Haul and bring it up here and do another show. We are currently walking, obviously. And uh, it is Saturday. Uh, the last, yeah. it is uh, yeah. First off, it is gorgeous. Secondly, it is the last night of our show, and we are in fact walking to go pick up the U-Haul. There's a new U-Haul spot that's about a 40-minute walk from our house, and because we are going out with the cast after, we don't really want to have the, our car with us. And I have to get the U-Haul in the morning, so it made sense to not have a car with us or leave it somewhere. So what we're doing is we're Going for a walk. We have a 40 minute walk or so to the U-Haul place. We're gonna pick up the U-Haul, go to the school, park it there, probably hang out uptown for, I don't know, a half hour, an hour, depending on the timing. And uh, yeah, and then uh, it's our last show. We do a quick tear down and, uh, and then pool yeah. Party. And then we party, pool party. And then we uh, finish it all off tomorrow. So. Thank God it's a beautiful day, because otherwise we'd be walking in rain, or I guess technically we'd probably just be driving. Yeah. How are you feeling? I am good. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling loose. Yeah, excited. I am. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm a little tired. My voice is tired. I'm not tired. I'm really excited. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's showtime. My fault I know. I'll give it all back for a chance. I don't want to be Last night was our closing night of our show, and we had our cast party. You're probably saying, Andrew, you look like trash. It's because I feel like it. So uh, it was a great time, a great cast party. Um, we actually went out for brunch uh, for a friend and cast member's birthday. Uh, but Kayla had to leave because she's currently rehearsing for a uh, radio play that she's going to be doing in 
about two or three weeks. So she had to go do that. Um, so I'm gonna go meet her on campus because she took the car. And yeah, it's just a gorgeous day. It's like 30 degrees Celsius, which is like, it's like mid 80s, probably nine, pushing 90s um, at this point. And uh, yeah, beautiful day. What's up? Just working on a Monday, um, but it is technically Memorial Day. I don't know why I said technically. It is Memorial Day. Surprise, we're not Americans, but uh, I have a lot of American clients and coworkers, so I have zero meetings today. In fact, we went for Cairo this morning. After a week long show week, uh, our bodies were like in pain, so that was nice. I might do a little bit of baking here and just uh, after I'm done this current project and then might crack a beer. Monday's usually our rehearsal night and we don't have rehearsal tonight. So we're in recovery mode from our show this a weekend. Week. Yeah. It oh. went really well. The show happens for like three days, but it was really like recovering from we, the week we because did it was like a pretty so many busy. Runs of it. So yeah. just as a bit of backdrop, like usually when show week is what we call it when we move into the theater with the sets and everything like that. But usually the first few days are like us tweaking stuff, fixing stuff, mm -hmm. and then our full, like first full run is sometimes not till Wednesday, which is what we call our dress rehearsal, where it's like you act as if there was full audience, but there's mm -hmm. usually nobody and you go through it. We started doing that by like Monday yeah. or something. So, so by, we were, by Wednesday, we were pretty we tired done, already. So instead of doing four shows, three for the public, one dress rehearsal, we did six shows, three for ourselves and three for mm -hmm. an audience. And it was so, yeah, it yeah. was a whole show week. But it went really well. We had really great audiences. As you saw, Andrew was hurting yesterday. I also was, oh but, um, you know, I, you didn't, I didn't <laughs> film anything of me. Uh, I'm going to actually finish this vlog. It's a pretty long one. Sorry. Thank you for sticking around if you have stuck around till the end. As you may have noticed, I'm a little inconsistent right now with these vlogs. Uh, it's just a lot of effort to put them all together and so because of that and because of show week and because of filming and because of everything else and clients and blah 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 blah, blah sometimes it's a little irregular and i apologize we're trying to get better at that but thank you so much for joining us uh if you haven't already don't forget to like this video and subscribe and we'll see you next tuesday bye